Welcome to my rapid fire war game list in which I will show you most of the war games I have played on this channel. But I don't want you to just watch. Instead, let's play a game together. Take a pencil and paper and try to guess all the war game names from the timeline names. And at the end, write how many did you guess. Second Front is a turn-based World War II war game that offers a unique feature of turns being split into phases. It includes 48 scenarios and allows players to choose to play as either German, Russian, or American forces. In Heavy Arms Assemble World War II, players can experience the complexities of base building and troop training while engaging in a real-time combat with the added strategy of using cards to give their units boosts or call in airstrikes. The game's focus on manufacturing and resource management creates a unique and challenging experience for players. Cardinals of War Stalingrad is a turn-based strategic war game set in World War II that lets you play as the USSR or the Axis forces in major operations from May to November 1942. The game offers a fast-paced but challenging gameplay experience with unique front focus and unit control system that sets it apart from other war games. It's time to introduce the most complex war game I've ever seen. Command Modern Operation is the epitome of complexity in real-time wargaming. It enables players to simulate a vast array of modern combat scenarios spanning from World War II to the present and beyond. Now, it's time for our first mini-game, Rapid Fire Game. Name two games that have turn-based Vigo system, whether synchronous or asynchronous. Yeah, okay, what about the next one? Come on, come on, you're almost out of time. Yes, you made it. And if you didn't, you gotta subscribe. No, don't try to talk yourself out of it. You lost, you clicked the button. Now it's time to give you the answers. Well, we'll start with Flashpoint Campaign Sutter Storm, which is a unique war game focusing on year 1989. It's played in a Vigo asynchronous real time format. That means that players give out orders and then the enemy gives out orders at a different time and then the action takes place in real time. So your real-time action can overlap enemy giving orders and etc. Obviously when you're giving orders the game is paused. The game also features electronic warfare allowing players to adjust the enemy timing between orders for more strategic gameplay. The game is played at a higher operational level making it quite complex but also super fun. Now, I ask for two games, so it's time for the second one. We Go World War II Stalingrad is a strategy game that offers a unique simultaneous turn-based combat system. What does that mean? So you will be giving out orders and then your units will be moving simultaneously with the enemy units. We focus on the iconic battle of Stalingrad. Europe Empire 2027 offers a unique blend of war game and forex gameplay, allowing players to select any nation and strive for Europe's domination. The game involves managing research, diplomacy, weapons acquisition from the black market, and sending units to conquer enemy territories. Valorant and Victory is a squad-based war game that takes place during World War II. It has an innovative turn-within-a-turn system, which provides an exciting gameplay. Regiments is a real-time tactics war game that put you in the heart of the action during the Cold War Gone Hot in Germany in 1989. With a focus on a plot-driven campaign and diverse operation, the game allows you to lead your regiment through tactic battles, manage resources, and make operational decisions. Will you win? Naval Hurricane is not your standard war game. It's set in World War I and you will be controlling a ship or a fleet and calculating the distance to enemy fleet, adjusting the heights of your cannons and putting out fires and fixing your ships once you get hit. Chaos Galaxy 2 is an amazing combination of a grand strategy and a war game. It offers players the opportunity to select their factions, fight other factions, and battle against alien forces, with an array of ships and mega suit at your disposal. Now, my favorite feature is that you can combine fleets and let other generals join you mid-battle, which makes for a really fun strategic experience. Strategic Command American Civil War offers a comprehensive experience where players can choose their side in the Civil War and engage in turn-based combat as well as manage diplomacy, production, and research to achieve victory. Now it's time for a question for you. Do you prefer turn-based or real-time war games? For me, it is turn-based. Get it? Because turns. <laughs> we didn't get it, that's fine. <laughs> 
Now, if your answer was neither, don't worry, I still got you. Attack at Dawn North Africa offers the flexibility to be played in either real time or turn based, but it is catered more to real time. Can you do better than the generals in the North African theater? <laughs> Frontline is a series of accessible turn-based war games set in World War II. From the series, I played Frontline World War II, Frontline Panzer Blitzkrieg, and Frontline Western Front. These games are great for players who want to jump right into the action without spending hours on the tutorials. Unity of Command 2 is a turn-based war game set in World War II with a focus on outsupplying your enemy. I love this game more than I can say in this video, but I make up for it in the number of videos that I have for it. It is just that good. This game may not be a war game, but I still think it could be of interest to you. Comrades and Baron Solitaire of Bloody 1919 provides a unique solitaire-ish experience with some additional abilities taking players back to 1919 when the Soviets attempted an offensive towards the West. From the same makers, we have an actual war game this time called Comrades and Barons Gates of Freedom. This is a very casual and simple war game that I might even call it a gateway to war game. It's a turn based and the combat is easily resolved based on strength. Warplan Pacific is an operation level turn based war game in the Pacific Theater from December 1941 to 1945. The game puts focus on surrounding your enemy and doing coordinated attacks. Shadow Empire is a highly customizable game that allows players to choose planet and inhabit and its entire history. The turn-based gameplay includes elements of combat as well as city-based building, resource and economy management, diplomacy, and more. The game also has cards called stratagems which allow you to do a variety of different things. Now, let's time for mini game two. Let's see if you are a true war gamer. Can you get the game just from the footage? All right, let's give you some battle information and the map overview. Yep, it's Grand Tactician The Civil War 1861 to 1865, which is a war game that allows players to lead either the Union or the Confederacy during the American Civil War. The game is played in real-time combat and has a massive, and I mean massive, map that allows you to also zoom in real, real close. Now, a lot of these games I've talked about so far have focused on mostly ground combat, while carrier battles for Gadal Canal, Pacific War, and Naval Warfare, that's kind of a mouthful, is a classic hex based digital war game focusing instead on the naval air battles of the Pacific War from 1942 to 1943. Panzer Corps 2 is an amazing turn based war game with the ability to choose your strengths and weaknesses at the beginning of the campaign. This gives replayability as it can make the game quite different. Another great feature is the branching campaign allowing players to choose between different battles. Field of Glory 2 Medieval is a turn-based combat game set in the medieval times with a variety of campaigns and scenarios. This game is all about morale, baby. Teaching you that you don't need to kill your enemy, instead you gotta terrify them, demoralize them, make them run for their lives. Now, since I'm talking about Field of Glory 2 Medieval, I would be amiss to not mention Field of Glory 2, which is a turn-based tactical war game that's almost the same, except it's set in the rise of Rome from 280 BC to 25 BC. Next up, we have Hearts of Iron 4, a combination of a 4x game and a war game that needs no introduction to a true war gamer. It offers an amazing war game experience that allows you to control any nation in World War II. Aside from combat, you will be building factories, handling diplomacy, dealing with world tension, and more. Great War Western Front is an upcoming real-time World War I war game with an amazing strategic layer that is played in turns and an awesome pre-battle building phase. The game also handles fog of war in a very unusual way. Total Tank Generals is another upcoming war game set in World War II. Fun fact, they both come out on the same day, and that's 30th of March. One of the unique features of Total Tank Generals is the ability to put multiple units in the same hex while keeping their autonomy and separation, unless you have mortars, in which case, bye bye. 
Before I introduce the last game and something that is not a game, I would like to order you, because of our games, to subscribe to the channel. This video took a lot of time and effort to create, and since you are still watching, I assume you enjoy wargaming content. Subscribing would be a ceasefire for both of us. Carry on, soldier. <laughs> I hope you find my puns healing. Company of Heroes 3 is a real-time strategy game set in a World War II where players can grab enemy guns and move inside buildings for strategic advantage. The game also features a turn-based dynamic campaign offering a unique experience. Now, Nuclear War Simulator is not a war game, but it is a program that allows you to simulate nuclear war, and I know you want to do that. Aside from watching the havoc on population maps, you can also create citizens and hide them inside a variety of bunkers. Alright, we got to the end. I hope you enjoyed this rapid fire war game list. And if you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch Let's Play of any of these games. See you there. Bye bye.